All right, here we go. Heading right on into your Wednesday afternoon. Hopefully it's going well for you and well, hopefully you're staying cool out there as well. Uh, we've got another scorcher on the way this afternoon. We'll be up near record levels, but there is some good news now showing up. And I know a lot of you folks out there are really going to appreciate this. I think we're at least going to have an opportunity for some of us of some rain, some thunderstorms around that begins later today, but more specifically tonight into tomorrow and also some less hot temperatures as well before we may see an even more significant pattern change about 11 or 12 days on down the road. Uh, we've got a lot of details to talk about today, so let's go and get down to it. But before we get to all that, unfortunately, again, as we go through this afternoon, it is another very hot day on the way. Take a look at my forecasted high. Again, we'll be topping out right around 108. And again, that will be up near record levels again this afternoon. We did not have a lot of heat relief overnight. In fact, overnight lows here generally in the lower to even some mid 80s. So again, it was even warm to hot even as we went through the overnight period as well. But here comes our changes, our heat relief. It is on the way. You can see that little blue line showing up. Uh, not necessarily a cold front this time of year. We call it a surface boundary. Regardless of what you call it, it's going to be moving into the air. Area. Again, it's going to give us some cloud cover, some shade as we get into tomorrow for some less hot temperatures, uh, but again, also that opportunity of rain and storms. Now, the reason why we may also have some rain and storms around the area it all has to do here uh, with just a little bit of what you could call tag team action. You can see spinning out in our Texas Panhandle. That's an area of low pressure. See how it spins counterclockwise as the boundary also moves into the area. Uh, that area of low pressure is going to move directly on top of it. And again, we'll kind of get that tag team action, if you will, to again, at least give us the opportunity of rain and storms. Big storm system well off to the north. You can see spinning up there in the Great Lakes region as that continues to move off to the east. That's what's going to kind of pull if you will, that surface boundary through the area. So again, weather pieces of the puzzle coming together here, uh, looking a little more favorable again right now tonight into tomorrow to get some rain and storms around the area. So let's go and break that down here with the model. Even as we go through the afternoon, as the boundary begins to move into the area, take a look here in our northwestern counties, even our western counties, you can see by late afternoon, it's not impossible that again, we do have a few widely scattered showers around Then, as we get into this evening and tonight, there may be a line of storms that, that tries to move out of Oklahoma, basically fizzles right at the Red River Valley. Uh, but again, still not impossible for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms around again by late evening into the overnight. Similar story again as we go through the overnight, but then take a look at this as we get into tomorrow. Now, I do want to just caution you. This is going to be a little bit overdone, but the main takeaway from the model, especially from Interstate 20 to the north, there will be again a 20 to maybe 30 percent opportunity of scattered showers and again some thunderstorms around the area. And again, that will even linger into parts of Friday as well. So again, for some of us, our rain gauges are still going to be dusty and dry. But again, for other folks, there will at least be some rain uh, again in the area. Really answer to some prayers for some of us out there. Uh, so again, the opportunity of severe weather, believe it or not, it is also going to be there. This is mainly for this evening and tonight. I think they'll also extend this for tomorrow as well. This is not for classic spring severe weather. We're not talking about hail or tornadoes, uh, but again, in the summertime, especially when you have a lot of dry air around as these thunderstorms go up, if they do begin to collapse, they can produce what's called wet microburst winds gusting uh, 60 mile per hour plus, so not impossible. It would be limited. We're not anticipating widespread, but again, it is within the realm of possibility. So even a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings not impossible still as we go through this afternoon it is one more day where we still have this excessive heat warning in effect and again it is in effect for all of north texas including obviously the dallas fort worth metroplex there's a look at that record for today it is 108 and again, that was set back in 2018. My forecasted high is also 108, so we'll try and tie it. We may also try and even beat that record as we go through the day. Triple digits all across the area. Again, lots of 108s, lots of 109s, unfortunately, showing up. By late day, there is that 10 to 20% opportunity for today of, again, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Overnight lows only back down into the 80s, a very warm overnight. And again, with temperatures, we'll trend these down some for tomorrow, more in the way of, uh, we'll call them upper 90s to near 100. In fact, I've updated my Thursday high now of only 98. I think we can even up that rain probability to right around 30%, 20% on Friday. Then again, you can see hundreds back in the forecast.